We've been really busy. A whole team has worked incredibly hard over the last six months or so. Still further to go and a lot more to do. We've now recruited 20,000 additional police officers. There are now around 150,000 officers throughout England and Wales. That is more than ever before in the history of policing. Well, hang on a minute. In 2010, there were about 145,000 police officers in England and Wales. Don't just take my word for it. Here is the government's policing minister, Chris Philp, to confirm it. The previous peak, hang on, the previous peak was in 2010 at 145,000 police officers. Now, in her latest video, the Home Secretary says this. There are now around 150,000 officers throughout England and Wales. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to work out the government has therefore delivered just 5,000 more police officers in England and Wales than we had in 2010. In fact, even the policing minister himself has just about managed to work that one out. That is 4,000 more than the previous peak in March 2010. So having spent the past four years telling the public this. Well, how many more police officers are we recruiting? 20,000, 20, that's right. 20,000 new police officers. 20,000 more police officers. What the government really meant was just 5,000 more police officers than we had in 2010. But that's just part of the story because in this latest con, the government is ignoring the increase in population since 2010. In fact, per capita with an increasing population, as a result of Conservative Party policies, by the end of this parliament, we will have fewer police on our streets than we did a decade ago, not more. It's not surprising given since 2010, the Conservative government has actually cut 21,000 police officers, along with 23,000 police support staff and closed 600 police stations. Never underestimate just how thick this government thinks we all are. 